Hey everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario. So, we're currently still on the toy box. Actually, I don't think I've ever heard Mario's opinion on this place. Say, so, yeah, are we actually inside the toy box right now? Seems like it, yeah. How could all this be inside that little box? Best not to think about it too much. Looks like this is Blue Station. It's a trade station. Yep. I think if we use that jump pad, we can go back to Toe Town whenever we want. Not sure how that works, but, you know, as you said. <clears throat> Best not to think too much about it. It is convenient. Although it does raise a number of questions. Like, why are there people in there? How did that even... Again, just stop asking questions. Everything's gonna be fine. Right now we have... Just to quickly recap, I suppose. We did get the storeroom key and the calculator out of the items missing. Uh, right, I completely forgot to deliver this one. And this w this one, uh, obviously, we'll have to wait. Ah, oh, yeah, I completely forgot about this. should probably do that while I'm at it. And I have a bunch of things to cook. Unfortunately, uh, we can't cook quite yet, because we're still missing um, Tasty's pan. But, well, let's talk to this guy. Oh, Mario, it's you. A shy guy stole my storeroom key. We know. We saw that. We also have it. I can't stay in business if I can't get into my storeroom. What in the world will I do? Well, maybe you take this one. All right, Mario, you did it. You got back my storeroom key. Thank you so much. You saved my livelihood. And more importantly, we uh, kind of saved our own progress through the game, I guess. I'll tell you what, take anything you like from the storeroom. Really, I mean, how is that not destroying your livelihood? Like it? You're the likelihood of your continued livelihood, I guess. Uh, it's just a little thank you for getting my storm key back. Sure, if you insist. Huh. I wonder what this could be. I have obviously no use for any of these other items. Toy train! A very well-designed toy train. Could this be more than a toy? Hint, hint. Hmm, I don't know, could it? What do you have to say? Ah, okay, it's just... Still considered the same map. Um, the, the outside map, the outdoors map, basically. Welcome to Harry's shop. Well, actually, funny you should ask, because I have the snowman... Uh, actually, hmm, four damage against everyone. Yeah, I was going to sell that um, single target damage attack. This is, there's no way this is useful to me. Since I can jump onto any enemy for way more than this damage. I mean, I, I was I was gonna use it just to see how it looks, but it, there's really no good reason to. And I think with that, yeah, I'm gonna hold on to this moment all just being able to deal damage to multiple enemies. Uh, seems pretty useful. But I am going to check in a bunch of things like the mushroom. I want to cook, of course. Uh, the cake mix. Obviously, gonna turn into cake. Not expecting any surprises there. Uh, Super Shroom, I'm gonna keep as it is because it's not gonna turn into. It's also just gonna turn into a uh, fried shroom, I should say. So it's not really worth it. I am kind of curious about the stone cap. It makes him unable to move for a while. How is that useful? Unless it also makes you invulnerable. I, I guess I must have talked about that before, but... Yeah, how how useful is that if you also cannot move at all? That would mean not attacking or anything, really. Hmm. It's a mystery. Anyway, uh, we have what we need to progress, most likely. I'm going to quickly go ahead and deliver those notes. Oh, say it so! That's music, no? <sighs> yes. Hmm. Oh, yes, yes, yes! It's the best! With this music we rejoice, for it will give Pop Diva voice. Now, Chandro, please do tell. Will you sing this new song? Come now, we can't wait long. Oh, it's perfect, so beautiful. But what if I can't sing it? Hey, hey, it'll be okay. You can do it. Nothing to it. Be courageous, sing it loud, wobble on, sweet and proud. Yes, I will try to sing. 
<clears throat> I'm not going to sing. Okay. Can hardly wait. kind of nice. Definitely better than just reciting those horrible lyrics again. Bravo! Hear, hear! The sweet, the sweet song has brought me tears. To Mario, our greatest thanks. Because of you, Pop Diva cranks. <laughs> well, thanks. I can sing, Luddy. I'm overjoyed. Thank you. You saved me, Mario. I wish I could do more, but here's a small gift. Please treasure it. Oh, Attack Effects D badge. Awesome. Not. Sorry about that. Uh, nothing from you, huh? That was... that seems like a really bad reward for a... Well, not super long, but, you know, for a quest chain. Nonetheless. I guess I might as well at least take a look or a listen. Let's see here. We have tried both C and D, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah, no. That one's a l actually a little bit intrusive. <laughs> a little bit too annoying. Can we just... Ah, wait. No? What? I'm pressing R. Because it indicates that I... Oh, that's not R. That's Z. Yeah, I, I mapped the Z key to the right trigger for whatever reason. Okay. Uh, yeah, I definitely don't want any of these. Thanks. We haven't tried Attack FX A because it costs star pieces. Somehow I have doubts about uh, it, its convincingness. So, what else was there? We want to hand over the calculator even though that should not do anything for us right away. Unless they have something interesting for sale, of course. Sorry, bud. Yeah, yeah. We you know. What could we possibly do? Maybe give you this. Hey, buddy, isn't that my calculator? You're telling me you got it back from the Shy Guys? Yeah, in your face, Shy Guy. I can open my face again. My, my shop again. You also open your face. That's fine. Oh, man, how can I repay you? I know, take this. This is a special badge, bud. So use it with care. Oh. I wasn't expecting any kind of reward, actually, let alone a unique badge. The Ice Spy Badge. A sound and icon alert you to a nearby hidden panel. Oh. That makes a lot more sense than just either ignoring them entirely or jumping everywhere. That says we wouldn't, and uh, we would have gone out of business if we hadn't gotten that calculator back. We can open the shop again. All because of you. Thank you, mister. Well, you're welcome. I really hope this is cheap to use, because I kind of want to use it. Where? Oh, where? It's only one. That's... I appreciate that. Let's get rid of Close Call. Who needs safety when we can get extra secrets? So, sounds, huh? Sound and what? What's it supposed to do? Sound and icon. Okay. That should be pretty obvious. There's gotta be something in town, right? I don't think I've ever... I, I found a secret panel in town yet. So there's a pretty good chance. This is gonna react somewhere. Hmm. Or is there? Okay, that's really obvious. Unfortunately, the icon is not above the panel itself. Oh, wait. Hmm. Come on. Come on. Hmm. So it just tells you that it's somewhere on the screen. I mean, that's much, much better than nothing, but... Not exactly free. Especially on a large map like this. 
I'm also not going to systematically backtrack to every single screen. This is just in the middle. That would have been kind of cool, but no. <sighs> okay, I mean, most screens aren't don't have as much area to cover as the town screens. So while this one is a bit annoying even with the badge, in fact, it is quite annoying. Really? I thought you you see the thing uh, bounce a little bit, even from uh, a little ways away. Yeah, okay, so that just tells you that it's the screen. Unless it's closer to the exit where I didn't check. Oh god, the timing. Okay, I have to do it slower. Patience. <sighs> I don't know, maybe I'm actually going to choose to forget about those things. Or does it just tell me that there is a star piece? No, it's specifically about floor panels, right? I mean, the symbol was just a star piece. So is, does that mean that every floor panel uh, only ever hides a star piece? I mean, I don't mind if that's the case. But something tells me that it might actually be star pieces. In which case... Uh, I mean, the symbol kind of looks star piece like hidden panel. I feel kind of foolish doing what I'm doing here. I mean, I could have done the same thing without knowing, you know, with, without the badge. Except I chose not to because that's that would be madness. It could also be inside a house because these count as part of the same map. Check the houses. And, uh, yeah. I don't see anything in here, basically. Oh, what? Oh. Okay, that's still going on. Yeah, yeah. Whatever. Um, well, um, that's, that was inconclusive, unfortunately. And that wasted a lot of time. I mean, seriously, though, we've seen those panels bounce up, revealing their position at least, even when I was a little bit too far away. I feel like I've, I've jumped here. I feel like I've bounced here, exactly. I guess if you bounce on the thing, it hardly bounces. No, it does. I should have noticed that. Okay, from this far away, it doesn't bounce. Holy moly. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Well, that's still kind of, kind of obnoxious. <clears throat> but, oh well. Actually, okay, there's one on that screen. Great. Great to know. Hey, buddy, what do you have here? We've seen, we've seen this before. Double dip. During battle, let's you use two items during one turn. Ooh. That's probably pretty expensive, badge-wise, uh, or uh, BP-wise. Mario hits an enemy, it smashes into the ones behind it. Ooh. Oh, wow. Like, is that an active skill, or... If Mario hits an enemy. It sounds like something that's just always active. Although it looks more like a special attack, like a special hammer attack. Um, hmm. I mean, I find myself using jumps much more. Honestly, neither of these seems like something I absolutely need to have right now. Yeah. Cool. I mean, I suppose the hatch or 
the hidden panel has to be somewhere in a relatively open area, right? Which rules out a couple of places. Like, I'm not sure if it could even be in one of these relatively confined spaces, but maybe here? Hmm. <laughs> Fun gameplay. I don't know, could it be in the middle of the road here? I suppose it could be. It's probably around here. Don't mind me, flower guy. Ah, uh, it could also be... Oh my god, it could be over there. There's so much space. I mean, I have to check. Oh, okay, well. Ugh. Thanks. Um, of course we check the rest of town. Nothing here. Good. But surely... Of course. There's no grass here, so it has to be somewhere... On the pavement, I guess. They have been somewhat... Oh god, it could be here. Somewhat away from the main path so far. So I'm going to start with this here area here. Let's start all the way down here. Hmm. It couldn't be here, right? We still don't know what that weird thing is. Is that a whale? Is that a submarine? That definitely was not there the first time I got to the harbor. Oh my god. It's probably not here. I mean, if it was here, I couldn't even see it, so... Hey, Toad. How are you doing? Okay, well, so much for that theory. Unless I actually missed it. Oh! Thank goodness. Okay, awesome. 18 minutes in, and we haven't even returned to to the stupid toy box. Actually, the stupid toy box is here. Oh, man. Maybe equipping this badge is a mistake. I don't even know what I... Yay. I don't even know what I need those star pieces for at this point. Was there anything... I mean, I don't remember anything that I wanted to get next. So there's that. Yeah, at least this area is pretty small by comparison. I think this corner here looks pretty promising, but I guess not. Hmm. Oh, there it is, right there. Once again, I must have been extremely close to this before. Honestly, what I would really prefer over the batch that tells me that there's something in this room, just the batch that makes it so the floor panel bumps up slightly no matter where in the room I, I bounce. So, no matter where I stump, I just see it.
flipping up slightly. So I, you know, I'd, I'd much rather do this like ground stomp three times per room I enter than be forced to meticulously search, uh, you know, every room where I get the signal. And of course I'm not forced. I Honestly, I'm really considering taking off the badge and just screwing those, <laughs> or saying screw those star pieces rather. Uh, yes, he must have been super happy, and indeed, I guess he was. Happier than I am, anyway. There's still no train, so I still don't have a job. Do I actually have to... It would make sense if I had to interact with the toy box from outside to, put the... to drop the toy train in. But maybe I'll just talk to you. Hello, can I please... Oh, no, I guess I just give you the... Now even tinier toy train, and somehow that's gonna turn into a real train here? Look, we can't very well ride on a tiny little toy train. That'd be impossible. Okay, never mind. Put that back in its toy box. Never mind. For the record, I did think of that before, I just forgot. And headed straight into the toy box. There we go. And somehow it lands exactly where it needs to. Because of course it does. Oh, hey, where'd that come from? It's a miracle. The train's running again! We can't leave any time! Awesome. Not sure if I really have time to get much done, but, you know. Yahoo! We're back in business! This train just dropped out of the sky and onto the tracks. Public transit's up and running. Um, okay, I guess I have to tell where I want to go. <laughs> Not that there is... Much of a choice. Let's go to pink. Because why not? Does it go? Hello? Can I talk to you? You can use the switches in front of the station to choose the train's direction. Yeah, I figured as much. Just let me know when you're decided when you've decided which direction you want to go, okay? All aboard. Uh I have. Oh. And then then I still have to choose it from here. That makes little sense. We're leaving, all aboard! And, okay, there is some a bit of uh, tracks in between. Next stop, Pink Station! Yep. Okay, awesome. Thanks. Let me guess, yeah. Oh, hey, that's not what I expected. But let me guess. Um, oh, no, never mind. There's an exit here. We got a save point, but... Again, no heal block. Why? I mean, we are mostly fully healed. Good thing, actually, because I completely forgot to rest back in town. Some shy guy just ran off to the right with a frying pan. Oh, that's good, because I want that back. Oh, I just bet that, that he stole it from some innocent soul. And you know he doesn't really want to cook anything with that. Shy guys are so obnoxious. A little bit. Mailbag. Oh, really? Just like that? Just sitting out in the open? Not even any Shy Guys to fight for it. Oh, okay. At least I found this one pretty quickly. So, um, frying pan to the right, huh? Well, we can probably at least get one item. One extra item. Oh, okay, this is another one of these. Oh no, the fuzzy. No. I mean, if it's just a normal fuzzy, I guess it's not that bad. Hmm. Hello. Nope. Well, uh, I guess we, once again, deal with the other enemies first. Ah, never mind. Tattle the Medi guy. Oh, he's gonna heal? I mean, he doesn't get much of a chance, I guess, if I one-shot every one of his friends. This is a Medi guy. Medi guys are the emergency workers of the, of the Shy Guy clan. Max HP 7, attack power 1, defense none. They have the power to heal their wounded companions. Of course, they also attack. Of course. We'd better hurry up and take them out of the mix. It's a pain if they keep fixing all the damage we do. Yeah, except the game clearly doesn't expect them to deal as much damage as I am doing right now. Okay. No idea what that timing was. Needless to say, I've been taking way too much damage here. But that's okay. Also, 
Why don't that... Oh, never mind. He does. I wasn't sure if he... Uh, if that guy had a... a health bar before. So I thought he might be a new type that I hadn't settled before, but no. <clears throat> yeah. Not really worth fighting these guys for experience anymore. Okay, but I do take two HP back. That is quite generous, actually. Oh, that brings me here. Not what I expected. There we go. Much better. Alright, which one of these is the biggest threat? Oh, I guess I never did tattle a sky guy? Before popping his balloons? Well... Oh. Well, I messed that up. Oh. I didn't even see that he was shooting. Oh my god. I don't know any of the timings. Can I actually... Oh, I cannot tattle the balloons. I guess... Yeah. I was wondering about that, but that makes sense, of course. This is a Sky Guy. Sky Guys are master balloonists. Is that even a word? Next HP 7. Attack power 3. Right. Also, well... Timing defense against their attacks is going to be a little difficult. We can attack the balloon, too. Once they fall, they're just like normal Sky Guys. Or I could instantly kill them. I wish I had a balloon so I could float. That looks awesome. Actually, it looks like it would be a pain to actually move around. I mean, you float, yeah, sure, but how do you move anywhere? I feel like they didn't really explain that very well. Also, I definitely need to heal up next fight. What do we get here? Defend plus badge. Decreases the damage that Mario takes by one. Well, I would celebrate, except that uh, that's definitely gonna be expensive. Oh, holy moly! Yeah, I mean, I guess it's it makes sense to have this as an analog to the power plus, but is it really that useful? I mean, sure, it would mean that with a um, with a perfectly timed defend, uh, defense move, I would be able to absorb three damage now, which would cover most enemy attacks we've encountered so far. But the really devastating ones are the ones that deal a lot more, and decreasing those attacks by just one point doesn't feel that great, doesn't feel that useful. So I think I'll pass. Okay, this is just gonna get me down here. Oh, wait. Is he gonna show me the way? No. Oh, yes, totally. Um. Not sure how I missed you? What? Okay. It's just a single shy guy. Oh no, I should have... Oh, it's okay. I wanted to heal, of course. There's the next one. What? He saw me. At least he didn't get a surprise attack here. Um, yeah, well, I need to refresh. And try to defend, needless to say. Uh, I guess I can head bonk you. Yeah, yeah. Laugh while you still can. I guess I'm gonna do one more. 
Nice. Well, that's great. Works out perfectly, of course. Bring me back up to full HP and FP. And we can finish him. So, is going through that wall just as easy as walking into it? I guess we'll find out. Really? Oh, I have to wait until another one comes. Oh, uh, no, I didn't know there was one. That's annoying. Oh, the next one's actually coming. Really, I have to be on the other side. I mean, I figured as much, but there was another shy guy in the way. Okay, so I guess there's no helping it. Power badge increases attack power against fire enemies by two. Okay, fire enemies. We have not encountered any kind of elemental type enemies. Hmm. I wonder if fire enemies. Oh no, the final boss. The boss to end all bosses. Mjork, Mario. This will be fun. No, it won't. Okay, it's just. You know what? You know what? No respect at all. There. Wow, okay. Yep, three and... oh, okay. I thought he was actually gonna jump on each one of them. That was just a coincidence. There. Get out of here. No experience at all for these. Yep. I, mean, I guess it was just a fuzzy, just a normal fuzzy. And we get the frying pan. Oh, huh. well. I'll take it. So, uh, yeah, fire enemies. Interesting. Can I just... Oh. I can use that from that direction, not from the other one. I'm not going to fight those remaining normal shy guys. It's just not worth my time. Hmm. Well, interesting. Save. Is there an exit here? No. Okay. Once again, only two exits. I thought so. So we got the frying pan, and I mean... As far as I'm aware, I can now freely travel to all of the remaining... Oh, well, there we go. Fire enemies. Uh, yeah, I, as far as I'm aware, we can now tr freely travel to the remaining toy box areas, so I don't think any of the remaining items unlock any paths for us. Although I might be wrong about that, of course. Well, fire enemies, huh? I wonder if uh, I cannot jump on those, even with my spike shoes. Or spike the spike badge, I guess. What's up with this? Oh. What? Oh. Didn't realize I was a freaking shooter enemy. Have we even seen those? Have we seen enemies that attack at a range on the map? Now that I think about it? I've also been playing um, uh, the uh, Mario and Luigi RPG uh, recently. And there's... Uh, I, I've definitely encountered those enemies there and they've been pretty obnoxious. Um, but I think this might actually be, have been the first time we we saw that happening in this game. Well, anyway, let's uh, check out this guy. Oh, why not? Once again, mess up. The timing of that jump. There we go. Ouch. Okay. Tattle the spy guy. Of course. How many more puns can you come up with? This is a spy guy. Spy guys look like they're ready for war in their spiffy camouflage gear. Max HP 7, attack R2. Yeah, they change their weapons each time they're attacked. Oh, do they now? I mean, I guess we're, we'll never see that because I'm always going to one-shot them. You best try to avoid their hammer attack. Every time you're hit by it, you'll lose one of your commands. What? I mean, that sounds interesting. 
I mean, obviously, it, it couldn't reduce me to having no commands whatsoever. And thus, I'm completely unable to act. Also, I mean, they don't have enough hit points to to allow you to hit them more than, you know, six times total, I guess. So they could only ever attack you. Well, I guess uh, once you change them to their hammer form, I guess, you could just let them attack. Oh. Hello. Um, don't mind me? Huh. Looks like I'll have to get past you. Who are you, then? Everybody calls me Gourmet Guy, really. Gourmet, not Gourmand. I don't know why. I'm just an ordinary, food-loving shy guy. Oh, I'm hungry. Oh. Uh, take this cake, I guess? What? Ah, blah. That's the worst tasting food I've ever eaten. My delicate palate is too refined to eat this stuff. Oh, screw you, buddy. I can eat only food of the finest quality, or I might gag. I'd rather starve than eat such inferior food as this. Is it still here? Do you actually just make me waste that? Mm. Okay. So how's this gonna work then? I mean, there was there was food that Tasty cooked. Not that I'm all that convinced of her of her cooking skill. Legendary as it may be. Any hint? Sweet cake. Oh, okay. Sweet cake with frosting and cookie crumbles. That's specific. No. I mean, I kind of had a feeling like a cake might do the trick. Obviously not the cake I happen to have with me. That's Gourmet Guy. Wow, he's huge. Does this guy ever stop eating? Well, I mean, he's not currently eating, so I guess that answers that question, doesn't it? He looks like he'd eat until his stomach blew up. Well. Not sure if we'll feed him enough cake to have that happen, or if we even want that. But, yeah, obviously I'll have to do something. And I can only assume that the, the guys, um, the enemies carrying the cake mix actually respawn. Yes, blue station, please. Because obviously you could just use or throw away those cake mixes. Or even the finished cakes. <clears throat> well, we have the pan, so let's quickly head back to Tasty and have her make two cakes, at least one of which we'll begrudgingly hand over to the, the fat guy. Hey, Tasty, good news. Oops. Stop moping now. Oh, hello there, hon. Yeah, yeah. Looking for this? Oh, Mario, my dear, dear frying pan! You saved it from the Shy Guys! Thank you so much, Mario! Yeah. For that, I'm going to make you something extra special! Really? Well, I guess we we have been getting rewards from the others for free. Here's the cake! Oh, we got the cake. Uh, I mean, I see frosting, but I don't see cookie crumbles. I'm not sure if this is gonna do the trick. This is my most delicious cake! One taste of it won my late darling's heart. I swore I would never make it again, but you're very special, Mario. Just one bite will make anybody go gaga. Hmm. Okay. Not sure if I want that, but... Yes. Actually. Oh no, I don't have the stuff with me. No. I wonder if that's the same kind of cake. Oh my god. Yes. I don't want you to cook. Jesus. Why don't you just let me press B to get out of that conversation? We got this. No problem. Claim. Um, right. I guess I n never did cook something out of an apple. 
I wonder why it's in between the spaghetti here that our army's been cooked. Strange leaf. I hope I have enough room, actually. Yes. Okay, apparently I do have enough room. In that case... Might as well cook everything. <clears throat> okay, we're back. Lots of work for you. Yes. La la la. Come on. Don't have all day. Thanks. Yes, please. Oops. That looked like some special dialogue, maybe? Hmm. Here you are. And it's her super special cake that she's sworn never to make again. Made from a cake mix. Hmm. Okay. Yes. Looks something special up just for you? Okay. Maybe that's the same dialogue as always. Who knows? I haven't really been paying attention. Thanks. It's a pretty good healing item, so there's that. Oh, actually, wait, no. They're FP, of course. Eh, I mean, still pretty decent. It's a full FP restore, if I ever needed one. Let's see what this makes. Unless we knew? Oh, really? Hmm. Okay, never mind then. I was expecting some kind of tea or something. Well, that's okay. But surely the apple will make something. Something other than a mistake. Uh-huh. Super soda? From an apple? Is that how I got my other super soda and I just forgot? Or did we get that? I thought we found the soda somewhere as it was. Hmm. Okay, well, that was a little bit disappointing, all things considered. Let's check in the other super soda. We have a fried shroom and a super shroom for healing. I'm gonna sell the mistake. Um, I don't know. Is is the guy gonna take more than one cake? You do find two cake mixes in that room, so maybe you'll want two. I guess I'm gonna take all three with me. No, I'm gonna store one away. That's fine. Come on. Sell. Mistake. Yes, give me one coin for that inedible garbage. Actually, hold on a second. Couldn't I just go ahead and pick all these up and sell them to you? Yeah, of course I could. Voltrum. Snowman doll. I mean, the snowman doll was kind of useful, but then again, only because those enemies were super weak. No. Sell. I mean, this just replicates um, a companion skill. Voltrum. I guess it could be kind of useful against certain enemies, but. Yeah. A snowman doll. I can just buy a new one, right? I think I sell them somewhere. Don't remember where. Might be in the. in Bo's Mansion, maybe? There are not. There aren't that many. Um, possible locations. Actually, uh, you know what? I'm gonna end the episode here. Probably looking at the timer. Yeah. Um, I mean, I don't know. I feel like I didn't really get a lot done. Although we did make progress on the on the actual toy box main path. Um, got a bunch of those items back already, and uh, yeah, obviously we fixed the train, which was the major the major thing to do. Um, yeah, this this whole, you know, looking for star pieces 
and the floor panels thing uh, is a bit unfortunate and maybe I'm going to actually unequip that badge just to save myself some some sanity you know and a lot of a lot of pain a lot of annoyance in the future um, let's see how do how many do we have 11 star pieces I really don't know was there anything good left in the shop I mean probably but something I really want I'm really going to use not so sure about that um, anyway we'll see what I decide to do who is to tell uh, anything else no I guess next time we're going to head back into the toy box I'm gonna heal in between episodes because they for some reason don't give me a healing block down there I guess they don't come in miniature size or something who knows um, as always, I thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit the like button. Hit the like button. Um, leave a comment, and I shall see you real soon. Bye bye.